Hey beauties, welcome to My Sheer Beauty. I'm Britt, your beauty coach, and today I'm gonna give you my professional and my personal tips on how to shop for makeup. Are you ready? Don't tell me that it looks so easy. Do you, do you know? Okay, so I have years of experience working in beauty retail. I started out working in Sephora for four years, and then I freelanced for Lancome, so I still worked in the stores. I worked for a brand called Kiko Milano, which was in store in LA. So I have a lot of experience with working inside the beauty retail industry. These are my tips and tricks, both personally and professionally, for you to be successful, confident, and just fully empowered when you go makeup shopping in a big store, whether you're going to Sephora, Ulta, or a department store, MAC, like wherever you choose your makeup, doesn't matter. I just wanna give you some tips on how to be confident and empowered. My first tip for you on how to be successful and confident when makeup shopping is make a list. Make a list of things that you absolutely need. So taking an inventory of the product that you have now is the best way to do this. So if you wanna keep some notes. So if you want to have a little notepad like this with your makeup or keep it in the drawer, this can help you keep a list of all the product that you currently have and you can write down when you bought it so that you are already aware of when you need to repurchase a new one or when you're running out. So this is super helpful just to keep inventory and to have a list of all the product you have. I can't tell you how many times a woman would come into Sephora, need help finding a certain product and she had no idea what it was called, didn't know the color, didn't know the brand. Sometimes it was always in a drugstore and she's looking in Sephora and it was just a hot mess. So this helps you understand what you need and will be a lot more confident in what you need to purchase so that when you're bombarded with questions, you already know what you want to get, you already know your budget, like you already have a plan. So step one, make a list of the product you already have and then make a list of product that you will need to get. I do always recommend researching product. If you hear something new, take some time to discover what that is. If you see an ad or you see an Instagram influencer try something or a makeup artist recommend something, do your research before actually going to the store. I mean, consultants at the store will help you, but they're not the most knowledgeable. So I'm just saying, sometimes they BS their way and they have to do it for the sale so you can't get mad at them and they're not properly trained. Do your own research so that you're not only relying on what they are giving you. The next tip is know your needs. Know what you need for yourself, know your budget, know what you have to get, what you don't want to get, like know all of it about yourself before going into the store. That way you have a little bit more confidence about yourself so when they do ask you, you aren't like sideswiped and you don't know what's going on and you, you don't come across as like ignorant so that when they sell you something that you don't really need, you can kind of step in and say, hey, you know what, I actually don't need this, I really need this instead. It's kind of like a win-win when you know what you need and just know yourself a little bit better. My third tip for you is to expect to be asked certain questions. So as a consultant, we are told that we need to find out things about you before we can even show you anything. We're gonna go down a whole list of questions just to figure out what exactly it is that you need to get or purchase. These are the questions that they trained us to help you understand a little bit more where you need to go so we can direct you. So first question is, what is your skin type? Know your skin type, know what your skin needs, know your texture, know just if you're oily, combination, dry, normal, whatever it is, know that with confidence so that you can already help them guide you a little bit better. Know what formula you're looking for. If you're gonna get a new facial cleanser, a new moisturizer, a new foundation, a new blush, there's so many different formulas out there. It's pretty much impossible to just pick one and say, hey, here you go, this is good for you. You definitely wanna know what your formula is that you like, that you prefer. You need to know what you like best. And if you don't know, there's always samples that you can try. Know if your skin is sensitive, if it reacts to certain things, if you break out, if you get irritation. If you don't know sensitivities that you might have, again, samples are the best way to go or trying it on your skin first before purchasing. Normally when a consultant asks, are you sensitive? What they're trying to understand is if you get inflamed, if you have a reaction, or if you break out easily. So one of those 
three options are usually the answers. Do you have a budget? That's a huge question. Do you have a budget? Are you restricted to a certain section or do you only have so much to spend? That'll help them narrow it down for you. So instead of taking you to the luxury brands and spending $60 on a foundation and you're like, I wasn't expecting to spend $60 on a foundation, then be upfront and say, you know what? I can only spend $30 today total. I need a foundation and I need a mascara. So that way they can help you out and give you the best for your dollar and you leave happy and you leave triumphant and successful instead of being disappointed and like discouraged. Do you prefer clean beauty, non-toxic, natural, organic, or does it matter? That is a huge question right now because the clean beauty industry is blowing up and almost every brand has a clean section for their product. So again, that'll help them discover what's best for you. So if you have a preference of non-toxic, organic, or natural, or even cruelty-free, every brand is cruelty-free right now, it helps them to understand what your needs are, what your preferences are, so they can direct you again even better. The last question that they will probably ask you is how much time do you have to get ready? That again, narrows it down for us so we can understand, okay, they probably don't want to do a foundation, a primer, concealer, setting powder, setting spray, like the whole shebang. They probably can only just use like a foundation or a tinted moisturizer if you don't have a whole lot of time. So it helps us to really narrow down for you exactly what you're looking for when we find out how much time you're willing to spend on doing your face in the morning. So the next tip I have for you, tip number four, is going to be questions to avoid. Please don't ask these questions to your beauty consultant. It is so hard to answer these questions. First question is, what is the best selling product? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a secret. Anything that's a best seller is bought and paid for. Companies actually pay for space in a store to be in the best section or the featured section. So when you go into Sephora and there's that like front row of product that you see like right when you walk in the door, that's paid for. The end caps that you see where it's like the number one mascara and it has like 10 different mascaras, that's paid for as well. So brands actually pay to be placed in certain areas in the store. So it's just marketing, it's just business, and it's sales. So you can't get mad at that. The next question to avoid, please, if you ever meet a makeup artist or a beauty consultant, please don't ask this question because it's so hard to answer, um, but it's the question, what do you wear? Because chances are they're wearing 20 products just to look like a clean face. So I just, please, don't ask that question. It's really hard to explain what you're wearing as a makeup artist. Like someone will ask me, what do you wear? In my head, I'm going through 20 questions just to figure out what they're asking. Uh, what am I wearing? Are they asking for my foundation? Are they asking for my primer? Are they asking for my concealer? What are they asking? And it's hard because we have so many products and just so many things that we don't even think about what we're wearing. We just grab it and put it on unless we're like super obsessed with something. So as a makeup artist and a beauty consultant, please, don't ask that question. If you truly want to know what we wear, be specific. Just say, hey, what concealer do you wear because under your eyes look great? Or what foundation do you wear because you look super dewy? Um, avoid, this is similar to the first question, but avoid asking what's the most popular because again, whatever's most popular is probably going to be placed in the best selling section. So just avoid that question. What will make me look younger because honestly, the only thing that can make you look younger is you just changing your whole lifestyle. Instead of drinking coffee and tea and sodas and alcohol, drink water all day. It's all about what you eat, really, that's gonna make you look a little bit younger. And then skincare, obviously, and then some makeup products. But if you're asking what it's gonna make me look younger, you better sit down because I can make a whole list for you and you may or may not want to continue with that. So my fifth tip on being successful and confident and empowered when going makeup shopping is understanding that one place might not have what you need. So you might have to go and visit multiple places. It, you might need to try on multiple products. You might need to just take some time. It's never going to be like go to the first store, try the first product, one and done, and you're obsessed with it. So I always just recommend letting my clients know that, hey, we're going shopping and just want you to know, like we're gonna go to multiple places and we're gonna try multiple products. So don't get so stuck on that moment of just 
grab it and go because that normally doesn't work out. Another tip, tip number six, is going to be ask questions. Don't be afraid to let someone know that you're shopping for new makeup or new product. I know as a consultant, when I would just kind of stand there and you know, I'd come up and say, hey, are you finding everything okay? Is there anything I can help you with? And people are just like, no, I'm okay. It's discouraging as a consultant because I want to help you and I want to give you what you need, but I can only do that if you're open to it. So don't be so closed off when you're shopping. Now, I know, I know going to makeup stores, a lot of consultants don't approach you. I go to Sephora sometimes or even Ulta sometimes and nobody comes up to me and I'm wandering around the whole entire store and I'm like playing with product and I'm like trying stuff on, taking makeup off. Not one person will ever come up to me and so I have to be the courageous one and go up to them and that's just unfortunately where customer service is these days. Maybe when you walk in, Hold your head up high, don't look down, don't be slouched, don't be on your phone, but be present in the store and if you don't know where to go, just say, hey, I'm looking for a new foundation, can you help me? And then they'll start with the questions and you'll have your answers ready and it'll be a much smoother process, I promise you. My last tip, tip number seven, is have fun. Shopping should be fun, especially for makeup, because the cool thing about makeup is that you can take it off. It's not permanent, it's not being glued to your face, and you can't ever take it off again. So just have fun, make it lighthearted, maybe treat yourself to something before you go into the store, like a coffee or a pretzel or whatever you love to have that's a treat for you. So that something you have something with you that's making you happy during the process. Yeah, that's all I have for you. Just be happy, make it fun, and make it worth your while because we gotta do it anyway. So yeah, those are my tips on how to be confident, successful, and empowered when going makeup shopping, even though it can be a very stressful and and intimidating situation. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it really did give you a lot of tips. So be sure to let me know if you tried it or if you're excited to go shopping. I would love to hear your feedback because I am a beauty consultant and I do love taking my clients shopping because it's such a fun experience for me and it changes their view on it as well. I love hearing your feedback. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Follow My Sheer Beauty on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to My Sheer Beauty YouTube channel because I upload a new beauty tip video every week where I share my professional and personal beauty tips with you and I will see you later.